festival, picture retakes, and championship. And more news coming your way. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm your host, Victor. And I'm Ivan. If you're looking forward to going to Ebola, tickets will be sold tonight at Hawaiian Shave Ice from 5 to 7. Mr. Travis Peart, five students, should take their books and laptops and report to Mr. Isles in room 103. For lunch today, in lines 1 and 2, chicken nuggets, line 3, soup and salad bar, fridge and chili soup, line 4, routine or assorted stuffed crust pizza, line 5, closed. Happy birthday goes out to Wyatt Criswell, Michaela Edson, Corey Harshman, and Jose Martinez. Senior fall athletes and band members, the deadline to turn in senior information forms was last Friday. Please turn in your, your forms to the athletic department as soon as possible. The student ambassadors would like to invite you to the volleyball game this Thursday. The theme is tie-dye and students get in for free if they wear their 19 sports on team t-shirt. Now to sports and weather. Thanks guys. The volleyball team traveled to Wabash on Saturday to play in the Volley Night Invite. The team started off the day facing 4A Norup, and despite taking it to three games, they fell just short in game three. They were immediately turned around to face a host, Southwood, and defeated them in three. To finish up pool play, they sealed the tie for the first place in the pool by defeating Kokomo 2-0. The team fell to Goshen to finish the day 1-2, ending with a 2-2 record. The team travels to Conferenceville on Tuesday. The boys' cross-country team won the Sagamore Championship meet for the first time since 2013. After finishing second over the past two years, they were finally able to clinch the championship. The girls team finished fifth at the championship meet. Three girls were second team all Sagamore Conference. Karina Lini, 16th, Annie Ochoa, 18th, and Rami Hens, 24th. Karina and Annie ran the fastest 5K in school history. The sixth annual elementary cross country meet was last Thursday. The boys fourth and fifth grade team records were broken by Angel Lopez first and Brock Dudley second. While the girls' race was won by Brianna Flores, great job to all the runners and coaches. Now to weather with Israel. Thanks guys. Weather today is currently 49 degrees. Today it will be mostly sunny at the high of 70 and the low of 41. Man, it's sure getting cold out there. I'm Ms. Angelis Jr. Now on to your host. Picture retakes will be held tomorrow in collaboration room 2. This is for any student that has not had their pictures taken this year, is a senior and needs to have their senior pictures taken or needs to have retakes. Seniors, Herb Jones will be visiting this Thursday to take your graduation orders. You will need to have a deposit ready when you place your order. Congrats to everyone who was nominated to be in this year's 2019 homecoming. A big congratulations to Nazmarie Soares for winning 2019 homecoming queen and congrats to Christian Matias for winning the 2019 big man on campus. Coach Kids is looking for a few good mentors to find and find time in their second and third trimesters to meet with elementary students on a weekly basis. Mentors must be juniors or seniors who can find transportation and time for 15 to 20 minutes with their student. The Hispanic Heritage Festival was a success. Downtown was full of music and energy. There were many demonstra demonstrations such as how to make a piñata, how to make handmade tortillas, and much more. The clown show was my personal favorite. We hope to make this an annual event next year. It will be at Perry Creek Park. That's all for HTTV. Tune in next time for the latest news and updates. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good day, guys.